Thanks for checking out my Submagic tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use Submagic for beginners. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to try them for free. And should you want to upgrade, be sure to use the coupon code ISLAND which is right here. It's going to allow you to save a little bit of money and also my way of saying thank you so much for watching this video. Let's begin. All right, so once you arrive on the inside here, this is going to be the dashboard. I have a fresh account, so yours should look very similar. If you are using a free trial, there's usually gonna be a button up here that says like remove watermark, you know, to end your free trial. That might be a little bit different, but aside from that, let's click on a new project right here where we can generate captions. So I've already created a video. Of course, you are gonna need a video to do this, a vertical one, and what I'm gonna do is click on browse here to get it. All right, and here is going to be the video specifically for the language. I do want English, but I will show you these in case you want to see some of the other ones that you can use. There's quite a lot of them, which is good. Speakers, it's just going to be me. If there are multiple speakers, you can use that option. And let's click on Generate Captions. All right, so let's give it some time. It'll say video is ready in about 40 seconds. It needs to generate captions, create emojis, highlight important words, and of course, captions animation. So once this is done, I will cut through this and get right back to you. All right, so this is going to be the dashboard here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is edit around your captions or choose your styles. So what I like doing here is at least just kind of clicking on this so you can see what it's going to look from. As you can see, I don't like that one at all. You're gonna see there are gonna be some premium ones here. If you click on premium, that's gonna be what they look like. And there's also gonna be all of them. So let's see, we click on Hormozy one. I think that looks a whole lot better compared to the one that was previously being used. Uh, actually, this one looks pretty good too. I don't mind that. There's Dan two. Uh, Mr. Beast, I'm sure you're familiar with that one. I think Alex Hormozis are pretty good. We can also change around the colors as you can see here. So uh, these are almost gonna be the same here. The sizes are a little bit different, but let's say we wanted to use this one, okay? Next, what we can do is edit the captions. So if you wanna change them around a little, this is gonna be what the captions look like. So if you click on it, you're going to see what they look like on the right side. I think they're pretty good overall. You can change around and kind of mess around with some of these things. Like if you click on this right here, you can move up to the next line, you can split into a new line. For me personally, I don't like spending a ton of time like going into the nitty gritty details. This is one of those things where like, say if you have OCD and you just get too excited about making it look perfect where everything is in the perfect spot and this word is on this slide and, and so on and so forth, I feel like you can really pull your hair out. So I don't worry too much about this, but if you did ever wanna like edit captions, this is gonna be where you can do that specifically. Now, when it comes to editing captions, there's also editing the specific style that we have. So we can click on Customize Hormozy 2 right here. So this is gonna be the font family. You can upload your own if needed. We have the font weight between heavy, bold, medium. So if you really want to stick out more, I like the heavy one, uppercase, or you can just do no where it's lowercase. If you wanna make the size a little bit bigger, you can do that as well. We have our font colors, the stroke weight, so pretty much the uh, the border around it. I do like it a little bit. I think that was bigger, right? Something like that. Shadow as well, display words. So position as well. I like putting this like a little bit further down, something like that, okay? There's also animation, punctuation, emoji animation when we use that. A lot of these things are pretty much going to be aesthetics and little minor details. It's more about, hey, do you wanna add punctuation to this? I'd probably do no, because I feel like if you use a ton of punctuation, it looks silly, right? So uh, that's going to be what that looks like specifically. You can also create your theme if needed. So let's go back there. So that's gonna be overall a lot of the captions, the animations, and what they look like overall, okay? There's also gonna be colors here. If we click on this, you can change around the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and the uh, temperature. Once again, just kind of playing around with it. If you really wanna make it brighter or darker, you can do that as well. Ideally, when you create your video or your short, it's probably gonna look good as it is. Like you're not gonna be shooting, hopefully, where it's just so bright you can't see anything and you might need to like decrease the brightness on it, right? But a little too dark there. Let's reset the filters. That is something you can do as well. We have our brand right here. So if you want to add images or text, you can do that. Image is going to be very beneficial. Say if you have a logo, you can kind of watermark it and add it there. We do have some audio sections here where if you want to clean the audio, you can do that. This is going to be on the pro and business plans. It's just something to keep in mind for you as well. So we also have a cover here if you want to upload an image or select from video. Aside from that, we can go back to some of the other options here. So we have trim, 
All right, so are there any words that maybe you wanted to change out, you wanted to remove? You can do that here. Like if maybe there's gonna be some sections where there's bad takes or you wanna remove silences, you can definitely do that as well. In fact, let's click on remove silences right here. And it says speech enhanced successfully. It says no silences found with current settings, which is fine, which is probably a good thing, right? So if nothing needs to be done there, that's cool. We have bad takes as well, but keep in mind, this is going to be for a different plan. In this specific one, I am using the one before pro, so I don't specifically have that. But if you wanted to do that, you can certainly change that around. And of course, maybe if you made some mistakes here where you deleted words, you just wanted to keep it how it was, you can always click on the reset button to do that as well. Okay, then of course is going to be the B-roll. All right, so let's say you created a video and if you want a lot more magic to happen here, ironically enough, sub magic, this is gonna be where you can do that. So there's gonna be magic B-rolls. This is something that you can use where the software is gonna look through and kind of identify where you can just automatically put some in. So I'm gonna click on this right here. Let's give it a moment and it's done very quickly. So uh, the percentage of magic. So how many of these do you want to actually add in B-rolls? For this one specifically, ironically enough, it's more of a tutorial where I'm pointing my camera at the laptop. So it probably wouldn't work as well when I'm saying like, hey, go to this spot uh, like on your computer and do this. Like this tutorial right here, if this was a vertical video, I probably wouldn't need any B-rolls because you need to see what I'm doing specifically. So just keep that in mind. It depends on the video that you're doing, but if you did want to do them, you can also just use less of them if needed. Say like if you go to 17% and do update, what means here is you're gonna get so many less. Like if we scroll down, you're gonna see one there. And let me just click on this right here so you can see it. I'm gonna stop talking for a sec. So like next up, this is where we add a DM with a link and like I'm showing the screen there, but this is gonna be covering, all right? So if we go back to magic B-rolls, what we can do is just reset and kind of remove that. There's also gonna be magic zooms as well. So if you wanna use this, it's gonna kind of zoom in and zoom out. So let's go right here, let's play. Okay, did, did you see that, how it like really zoomed in, it panned in? It's a nice little feature if you wanna use that. I think this one you can use a whole lot more freely if needed. Also, when it comes to B-rolls, we can just find something specifically and just click on a word if we wanna do that, like collect email. So if I click right here on emails, we can do search B-roll. And of course, it's gonna showcase for that. So like emails, this person could be looking at their emails. This person, let's say this one right here, let's use this. Okay, and we can do cover, contain, rounded, or square. You can really change it out if needed. You can do the zoom effect. So those are gonna be the effects. But let's just like go right here. I'm gonna do play once again. So there you go. That's gonna be an example of adding a B-roll to a specific spot. So if we do edit B-roll, we can just do delete. So the great thing about this is that anytime you add in a B-roll or a magic zoom, whether you do the magic B-rolls or you just do them one by one, you can always delete them. So you're not gonna feel like, oh, I added this, how do I get rid of it? You can easily and clearly do that overall, okay? so. So these are gonna be the main sections overall. And once you figure out a specific style that you wanna use, like we can see what the style looks like, we're familiar with it. You're not gonna to have to change too much around with that, which is always good. Trimming, ideally, if you get your video right, you know, right when you shoot it and you're good, you know, you're probably not gonna be using that as much. And then of course, B-roll is more specifically about adding those extra little sections, making it look a little bit better overall. And don't forget, there is a save button here. So let's say we liked everything that we did. Let's click on save. And also I do wanna let you know, there is an undo button, which is a fantastic thing. So if you do make a mistake, you can undo, you can redo. And of course, when you wanna save your video when you're done so that you get your captions on it and it looks a little bit better, depending on what you use, maybe you use B-roll, maybe you didn't. Let's click on export here. All right, so when it comes to exporting video, quality standard is gonna be 1080p. Depending on the plan that you have, you can do 2K or 4K. And then with FPS, we have 30. And if you have the upgraded, I think it's the pro or excuse me, business, it says it right there. If you have the business plan, it could be 60 as well. But based upon the settings that you have, what you wanna do is click on export. All right, and that's gonna conclude this some magic tutorial for beginners. So. All in all, it's over very simple to use as we talked about previously. You're gonna be uploading your video, 
adding around the captions and making sure that you have a great setting that you like is going to save you a lot of time because once you find one that you want to use, you can even save it if needed. So you're not going to spend a lot of time kind of tinkering with the details. Then it's mostly going to be about if you want to add some B-roll footage to it, if you want to maybe add some auto zooms in there. And of course, it depends also on the plan that you are using based upon a lot of the features that I talked about. And of course, if you do want to upgrade, be sure to use my coupon code ISLAND, which is also going to be down below with my link in the pinned comment or the description. You can click that and try them out for free today. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.